A letter of gratitude to my father. I just realized that after all these years, I have yet to really thank you for being such a blessing in my life and the life of my brothers. I will speak for myself and on behalf of my brothers in an attempt to show how much we appreciate you. Being a father was not something that came naturally to you. It is perhaps something you might have resented or regretted at times. I do not blame you for this or anything else. As an engineer, you were taught to think rationally and with precision. The human component is not as easy to solve as a math problem. I myself have given you much to solve and much to reflect upon. Know that I never meant to hurt you or disappoint you. I wish I could have been everything you wanted me to be, but I could not betray my heart and follow the path of anybody else but my own. I know it caused you much grief throughout the years and perhaps at times it still does. I am truly sorry that I did not give you much to be proud of yet, but I am happy and I am doing what my heart wants me to do, what I am supposed to be doing and I know I can succeed at it. I hope that one day I will be able to be as great a son and a brother as you have been a father to me, to us. I learned so much from you. I have always admired and respected your work ethic, your discipline and your drive. I have also seen you change and become a more loving and gentle human being throughout the past few years. None of us have achieved as much as you yet. None of us have walked the path you had envisioned for us. None of us have lived up to your expectations. However, what I can tell you is that all of us love you from the bottom of our hearts. Even though you drive us crazy sometimes with your incessant cleaning your rules and sulky moods. Those are things that make you unique as a father. Your high-end education did not teach you to use your heart. That you had to learn from your low-end quote-unquote family. After all these years, the high-end education, the accolades, the travels, the money, the promotions, the apartment, I can say with confidence that your greatest achievement is that you have finally learned how to use your heart. The motor the engine of your body needed three disappointing sons and a Singaporean wife to understand how to function properly. Papa, our grandmother, used to tell us to go greet you every time you came home from work. I did not understand why at that time. I don't live with much regrets, but it's with a heavy heart that I admit that I wished I had greeted you more often then. Know that if I could go back in time, I would be greeting you every day with a smile and a hug. Only so you can see and understand that everything you have done for me and for my brothers is appreciated and our love and gratitude goes beyond words and actions. It's time for me to finish this letter. I usually just send a quick email for your birthday saying Bon anniversaire papa. This year I felt it was not enough and this letter is long overdue. I apologize for not having the courage to write these words earlier but as we say in French, vaut mieux tard que jamais. From a few continents and a few time zones away, from my heart to yours, I wish you the happiest birthday. I thank you for being the greatest father one could wish for. I thank you for the love, the support and so much more. Much love, your unworthy son, Sebastian. Subscribe and click the bell button to be notified. Stay in touch with us. Get one or more of our ebooks. Some are free, some are almost free. Either way, you will benefit tremendously from them. Check the link in the description box below and don't forget to be inspired and inspire.